Welcome back everyone. It is 2-22-2023 and we are taking a look at our sun today, which has certainly been outperforming itself. We're taking a look at a specific sunspot, even though we have multiple that are facing Earth at the moment. This one specifically, AR3234, which is making its way towards Earth facing, has been producing a significant number of strong M-class solar flares and even an X-class had taken place back on February 17th. Also, we have have a very interesting anomaly that has returned and the last time we saw this was back on September 1st and it's happened again with a slight difference but a very odd anomaly being caught once again on our sun. Now before we do that I want to go over a little bit of stuff that's been going on because of these CMEs that were somewhat unexpected and this article kind of talks about that the title sunspot crackling with solar flares spells solar storm trouble on earth blackouts span the globe. Now they are specifically talking about the sunspot we just mentioned AR3234 the one on the upper left quadrant of the sun and it says right here AR3234 is crackling with solar flares and has caused multiple eruptions in the last 24 hours radio blackouts have now occurred all around earth so again this is no joke this is actually affecting us on earth already and I want to read you this part too and I have another interesting article to show you after a glancing blow by coronal mass ejections also known as CME on February 20th that produced a very weak solar storm. It was expected that the sun would be quiet for a while, however, that does not seem to be the case. Yesterday, February 21st, another new sunspot, AR3234, has turned unstable and has been crackling with solar flares. In the last 24 hours, it has also produced multiple M-class solar flare eruptions, which have resulted in radio blackouts all across the planet. As the Earth struggles with this ordeal, there are fears that another X class solar flare eruption could easily trigger a terrifying solar storm. And for those of you that follow me, we talk about this a lot. We speak about how these solar eruptions, when they are Earth-facing, put an enormous amount of pressure on the Earth's magnetic field, which then in turn causes things like radio blackouts, internet outages, cell phone interruptions, and even earthquakes. Some of the larger solar storms we get have been directly related to some of the biggest earthquakes we've ever seen on the planet. And this article right here is also important. And this talks about the powerful X-class flare spat out a rare solar tsunami. And you could hear it smashing into Earth. I'm going to leave the link for this article because there actually is a sound you can hear that was recorded by an astronomer. And this one specifically was one of those CMEs that caused the radio blackouts we had on Earth. Now this solar flare that I showed you on the chart was the only X-class of this grouping of recent solar flares. The rest were M-class, just that lower level below it, but still very strong and very powerful. And it says right here, a sunspot recently belched out a surprise X-class flare. One of the most powerful solar flares our home star is capable of producing. The enormous explosion created a rarely seen solar tsunami across the sun's surface and unleashed an intense burst of radiation that caused radio blackouts on Earth. I am not sure what other proof you need to understand that the sun is a direct relation to what happens here on Earth in many different ways. Again, here is that solar chart. This chart here does not show the X-class as the X-class flare took place on the 17th. These are all the M-class solar flares that have happened since then. And you got to understand that these things begin to pile up. That is why our solar wind is at nearly 500 kilometers per second. That is that solar wind and the solar particles hitting Earth's magnetic field causing these disruptions. This website right here, as many of you know, is Suspicious Observers. Again, an amazing researcher when it comes to the sun and what it does to our Earth. I'll also link this website in the description box for those of you that don't know about been. But because of this situation, the most important thing to look out for, besides obviously power outages and radio blackouts, which are serious in their own, is the earthquake effect that it has on Earth. And we've obviously gone through some pretty significant earthquake situations. Turkey, for example. A lot of weird things happening here on the eastern half of the United States. And of course, we've had a few deep, large earthquakes in an area prone to those specific types of earthquakes. But again, when the sun is projecting that energy on the Earth's field, we see them more and more. All right, and now as I said in the beginning of the video, we had a friend stop by over the sun today and it looks very familiar to something we saw back in September of 2022. Now we're going to take a quick look at both of these again. Here is the one from September 1st of 2022, a very odd line streaking across the sun and then this very strange long beam coming out of the brightest part of whatever this may be. And on this particular day, I actually found a few anomalies on the sun. The September 1st day, I'm 
speaking of, but what could this possibly be? We have to rule out meteors because meteors only burn up once they are actually hitting the atmosphere of the Earth, which is what causes them to light up and or explode, which we've been seeing all over the place lately. But why this weird light that comes off the top here? Now I'm going to show you the difference between this one in September and then this one I captured literally today, the 22nd, which basically looks like the same exact object, anomaly, whatever you want to call it. I can't say because I don't know. All I know is that this is very odd to see and if you notice the light in this direction is going downward as opposed to the one in September that not only had a different angle across the sun but the light was protruding upward. Now whatever is causing that again I can't tell you but when you see these things how can you not talk about them and how can you not ask what they could possibly be? And the reason I feel like these are objects that are moving across the sun is because you could see a tail kind of behind this thing before it becomes much more bright and puts off this streak of light that shoots downward in this particular image. We can get right in there too and see some interesting detail. Now this could be a smaller object and because of the frame rate of the SDO cameras it's showing this bright streak, but why would the streak only be captured in part of the image and the rest looks like a tail? I'm not sure if it's some interaction with the sun or whatever it may be, but this is now the second time I've captured this particular object or anomaly. Again, I don't know. Some people claim this is space dust. I find that very hard to believe because these things are massive and again they tend to happen during high solar activity. I have many many videos all you have to do is search into thin air sun anomalies and you will see tons of videos I've made on not only things like this but actual things caught off the edge of the sun shooting in downwards and upwards direction. Clearly things that aren't coming from the sun directly but are captured again during the high solar activity. It almost seems like one goes with the other. So I'm basically just asking some questions here. What are your opinions about this type of anomaly. What do you think it could be? I don't even want to take it to the UFO conversation because we just don't know what it is. And I'll be the first to admit when I don't know what something is, I'm going to say it. But anytime I see this, you could be guaranteed that you will be seeing it here on the channel. I'll have an updated version of the anomalies I capture around and in front of the sun in the very near future. But I definitely wanted to show you this image and compare it with that September image because we're almost looking at the same exact thing with just the light shooting in a different direction. Very, very interesting stuff. And that, my friends, is where we're going to leave it today. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Keep an eye on the sun. It is very important. Shout out to Canada. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.